Hey everybody, this month we've just completed another round of microgrants. Every month we try to feature several projects that we find exemplary in some way and give them a small support grant. Here are some of the projects that the team picked for funding. This month we've given a grant to Suck Less. It's a software collective dedicated to creating and maintaining software that adheres to principles of simplicity, clarity, and frugality. Their mission is essentially to produce high quality software that's easy to understand, efficient, and free from all unnecessary complexity. It's important to support software projects like this that oppose the prevailing trend towards endless complexity and terribly designed software that we see all too often with projects. Suckless continually demonstrates that minimalist software can easily meet the needs of more advanced users effectively. Check out their website at suckless.org to see the many, many projects that they work on under the Suckless banner. Next, we have donated a grant to Hunix. It's a privacy-focused operating system for anonymity online. It's similar to the Tails project in that it routes all traffic over Tor, but Hunix uses a much different architecture. With Hunix, the operating system is generally configured as two small virtual machines, the Gateway and the Workstation. The Gateway runs Tor and acts as a standalone VM that the Workstation VM connects into. Because the workstation where user applications run is completely isolated, this prevents a lot of security issues that can come up. For example, having VM-based separation that allows only for connections makes DNS leaks nearly impossible. If you're interested in a much more robust and secure way to connect to Tor, this is definitely worth testing out. We've also given a grant to DRAM GUI, which I think is how you pronounce that. This was suggested for a microgrant by multiple Fudo employees. It's a bloat-free graphical user interface library for C++. I'm GUI is designed with a focus on simplicity, productivity, and minimal dependencies. They're able to achieve this by using the very lightweight immediate mode paradigm, which is part of the library's name. This methodology contrasts with traditional retained mode interfaces by creating and drawing widgets on each frame instead of maintaining their state over time. It's probably one of the best GUI libraries in terms of portability and can be used to build cross-platform apps easily. Next, Zach Pollard from Image picked Nest for a grant. Nest is an enterprise-ready Node.js library for building scalable server-side applications. It features a modular design, dependency injection, and includes pre-build components for handling file uploads, distributed queues, and caching. It's heavily used by Image to serve their API and manage data pipelines for generating thumbnails, transcoding, and machine learning tasks. That's all for this month, so let us know what you think of these projects. As always, if you're interested in making a suggestion for a grant, leave a comment below or send us an email. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a good day.